Okay, just an overview of what you're going to learn in the functions and graphs section. So you're going to be able to find the domain and range of a relation. Just remember the domain or the x values, the range or the y values. And then how to actually tell if a relation is a function. Test for symmetry. I always think cutting things in half. Does this side look just like this side? And you can also cut horizontally. And then be able to figure out if a function is even or odd to know its symmetry. Uh, linear functions, lots of applications for these. So we're going to learn how to calculate the slope. Um, put an actual equation either in point-slope form, slope-intercept, or general form. And this will help us be able to graph these. And then, of course, model data with a real-world application. Transform functions. So take a function that you already know what it looks like. We typically start with x squared because that's the parabola. And then we do all of these different transformations. And I'll show you how to do uh, the different shifts, uh, reflections, stretching out the function or shrinking it to be able to come up with a graph. Uh, be able to find the domain of a function now. The earlier one was the relation, but it's still the same thing. It's good x values. Typically, the only time you worry about domains is not dividing by zero and not taking the square root of a negative number. Um, combine functions, take two functions, add them together, multiply them together, write composite functions, which is just a function within a function, uh, and figure out the domain now of this new composite function. And then finally, we will end with inverse functions, which you, you will see later. These are very important because uh, you'll study exponential and logarithms, and those are actually inverses of each other. We like to know if um, we, one function is an inverse of another because then they share some similar properties.